Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing another art anthology design team project with you and for that I'm using a wood panel because I wanted to create a 3D bird and the wood panel is basically my tree even though it doesn't look really like a tree but that's the idea behind it. That's why wood panel. Um, I'm using the amazing art anthology paints. I'm using a variety of velvets and sorbets and then also the coloration spray and minks and of course I've listed all the supplies that I use down below in the description box and over on the blog um, and I basically started by covering the wood board with some clear gesso I covered it in two coats and then I added some dots with the dot matrix stencil just randomly onto the board with um, gel medium so it tries translucent but you can still see the dots and I just wanted to have some interest in the background and then I already started painting and I'm using a variety of green tones. Um, I'm watering down, them down a little bit. They are already like semi-translucent the way they are, but I wanted to have them a little bit more fluid just to, so the wood shines through still and I can create a little bit, uh, a few more like dimensions within the colors when I blend them. So as you can see now, even though I'm adding the darker green, the lighter still shines through a little bit. So I'm, I can create like layers uh, within the colors and I'm using again I'm using several green because I wanted this to be a tree and like nature colors so the green is basically um, the leaves or whatever from the tree <laughs> you want to see that um, and I'm just like dabbing them onto dabbing the colors onto the wood there's no really a technique it's just more like dabbing the paint on there to create the pattern Next step is taking one of the green coloration spray. This was avocado and I just um, spritzed it onto the top and let it run down. And then to create even more dimension, I'm using the cotton and the black leather and again, dab them just onto this time without the water, but dab them onto the wood board just to create some highlights and some depth uh, within the color. The black leather is a sorbet and sorbet always means with art anthology that there are like smaller glitter particles in there and this is the way that I, that's why I applied them like on top of the panel just to add like, and it's not really that you, it's bam visible, it's like really a slight nice um, just glittery effect on top of that. So what I'm doing here is that I'm dabbing it all uh, on top of the green and then I'm spritzing some water on top to let it run down A to blend it a little better and B to make it runny and even more translucent. So next up I'm taking some cheesecloth and I'm spraying my different green tones it's uh, avocado and clover and then some brown uh, which is sandstorm just to give it a little bit more dimension and uh, heat set that really briefly with um, with my heat gun. I have to be very careful with uh, cheesecloth that you don't burn it and then you have like a crumply brown mess. That's not a good idea. So but just again to add the dimensions to the cheesecloth that's why I add all those different shades of green and brown on top. Also for my twine same thing. Um, I'm trying to color it in the same colors as the cheesecloth and then dry it with my heat gun. And I adhere all of this with just some um, gel medium. My box is rather empty and I throw it away afterwards. <laughs> I was done scraping all the rest out of it. I have enough other stuff there. But anyway, um, so what I'm doing is I'm taking the cheesecloth, wrapping the twine around so it looks a little bit like the bird crumbled it all up and threw it into his nest. And then I'm just dabbing it on there and hope that it uh, yeah, stays in place. <laughs> So after I set that aside and let that dry and what I'm doing then is taking the bird's nest A, I'm trying to see um, that it really fits and that I didn't make it too big of a bulk, but then I'm taking the bird's nest and I'm cutting it in half. So this is really all straw. So um, A, I had to find a tool to cut it in half and believe it or not, my husband didn't have like big tongs or whatever you would, I, I'm not quite sure what the English word would be, but he doesn't had, had anything big to cut it. I didn't want to use my craft scissors, so I just used like one of those smaller things and it took a little second, <laughs> but eventually I got it apart. So what I did then, I just took some, uh, my glue gun to like close up the ends. So because I want to keep the other half and use it for a later project, but I didn't want to 
fall I didn't want um, everything to fall apart while I'm while it's laying there to, uh, for the next project so I just covered all the edges with my hot glue gun uh, for both pieces so because I had to wait for something then I didn't want to uh, have the other piece fall apart too then I added even more glue and pressed it onto my wood panel directly underneath the cheesecloth that I already adhered there and then I added a whole bunch more glue to really seal everything off and um, yeah make it stuck to the wood panel there you see it's really a lot of glue but we are going to as so I'm going to cover it up so I'm good to go there just a little test birdie sits pretty <laughs> Okay, next step. Now um, I wanted to embellish it a little more, add a little bit more glitter and I'm using the Minx ink and that's the gold dust and I love it because again it has like just a slight shimmer. It's not a, too big of a bling and I'm adding it underneath and let it run down um, the panel just to add a little bit more interest and add a little bit more shimmer underneath and I'm also adding it on top onto the cheesecloth and um, into the nest so just to round it all up and have a whole bunch of glitter or shimmer it's not really good it's more shimmer on there then also just to add a little bit more green tones in there I'm using the bankroll minx and then the next up is my gold spray which just adds a different type of gold shimmer on top of it I really love art anthology has a whole bunch of different gold shimmer tones and there none of those is really bam in your face it's really all settled it's all nice yeah really a neat idea so for the decoration, because um, I wanted this to be a bird that stole all the shiny things and made his nest out of it. I always forget what these are called in German or in English, it doesn't matter. But it's a bird that steals shiny things. So this nest had to be full of shiny things. And I just recently found those sea glass things um, over at Michael's and I thought these would be perfect to add onto my canvas. And I picked like blue and greenish colors and a little bit purple just to have something that differs from all the green and I started adhering everything with my gel medium and then I was like you know what Josephine you're stupid you have a glue gun sitting next to you you already used it quite a bit in this project continue using it it's so much easier and it dries so much faster so there you see you see the rest of the gel medium where I tried to adhere the little eggs or gemstones there and then <laughs> I'm placing it on top with my glue gun. Works so much better and it's dry immediately. Ugh, yeah, sometimes you need those little steps. <laughs> so, and besides those little uh, round sea glasses that are supposed to be X for the bird, I'm continuing to adhere all those um, little pieces of the mosaic glass all around the nest. So I have really a variety of um, glass around it. Plus it also covers up the glue gun bulk that I had underneath the nest so and there you can see it's like all around and I mixed it between green blue and purple and I think it just creates the, the perfect like interest on the nest So after I was done putting all the glass beads and everything around it the way that I liked it, I took my little bird and I realized afterwards it's obviously a blue jay. There you go. Um, I know that blue jays are not the ones stealing the shiny stuff, it's other birds. But um, if you look for that bird in particular, if you want to um, create something similar on your own, that one is called a blue jay. Um, and I got it at Michael's as well. So, and I adhered it um, also using my glue gun. This time I remembered it. So, and this happened a, f a little bit later. I already packed my glue gun away. I didn't want to get it out. So I took some other adhesive. <laughs> I should have took, uh, used the glue gun. It dries so much faster. It's so much nicer. Anyway, so just some final um, like embellishments for the video. So A, I added some metal pieces 
uh, into the nest and then I used the gold metal effects just to highlight a few areas. I used a dry brush and really had just a, a hint of paint onto my on my brush and I went over all those little texture bubbles that I created before and went over them slightly. So it's it's hard to see in the video even in the vid, um, in the photos later on but it just adds like a very slight gold shimmer on top of it. And then next up I'm using the Dazzle Sorbet and that dries clear and you just see and that's really a little bit more shiny. There are really big chunky glitter pieces in there and you will just see those glitter pieces at the end of the day. So that what, what looks creamy in the bottle right now will dry clear. And I love that stuff. This stuff is really addicting and I use it used it on so many canvases already and I had to use it here too. And I'm just um, adding it like all around on the nest and all around the bird and on top just to really add glitter onto it to have like all those shiny pieces on the wood panel. So I hope you enjoyed my project today. I really had a lot of fun creating the 3D bird. I, I love the idea and I think it turned out pretty great. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see future videos using, using Art Anthology paints. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and then I will see you soon with the next video. Bye!